Hello everyone. A couple of years ago I changed over mostly to compact fluorescent lights and of course now they're all starting to burn out. Now they were vastly superior to the regular fluorescent lights giving me a lot of good light, a lot of good work with the plants made the fish look good but now of course they're all starting to burn out and LEDs are the big deal. So now I find myself changing over to LED lights and this is a three foot LED I picked up off of eBay. I've got a couple Marineland lights that work pretty well and these were pretty rec highly recommended on eBay so I thought I'd give one of them a try. Very affordable. Looks like it's also not going to have the nice big fixture that the Marineland lights do. This is going to be a smaller, smaller fixture. Well, it comes nicely packaged. Lots of bubble wrap for shipping later. So as you look at it, it's got three rows of lights. Uh, supposed to be white, reds, and blues. The, uh, the whites are mostly for us, and the reds and blues are nice for the fish. Uh, I guess this is going to be a hanger. This is a three-footer. It's called a Aqua Neat. Not a name I particularly know. It's a three-footer because most of my racks are three-foot. So. Slide this in here. And we have this little piece. These guys will plug in. I've turned this off just for a second because, of course, my extension cord's over on the other side and I can't get to it from here. So, be right back. Alright, now this light. Tilt it up for you some. Incredibly bright. Picked it up at Home Depot, I don't know, less than $40. But it's a 4K, so the wavelength is not the best. And as you look, you'll see the algae seems to function on the wavelength better than the plants do. The crypts here are doing fairly well. Now here's this new light, and it was, I think, around thirty thirty five dollars let's tilt this up so you can see it you can see we've got a large number of red and blues or whatever I haven't hung this I've just got it sitting here but you can quickly tell very pleasing very very nice light colorations here Everybody seems pretty happy in here. So, but it's a very, it's much more bluer than that other one, which is very, very light colored. This is showing off the fish very nicely. They're a little startled and skittish because they've been in the dark for a few days waiting for this light to come in. I'm going to get the, uh, get it hung. So it will actually be up, like up here. It's got a couple of hooks here. So these will be pretty easy to hang. Put a hanger on it. I'll end up putting a little hook and hanging it. That's how I did the other one, the ones from Home Depot. You can see I just took a little chain. Well, I'll do the same thing. I've got some more chain. And I'll hang it on. But I think I'm going to like this. We'll have to see how the plants do. It's supposed to be a better range for the plants, 6500K. Does not seem to be scaring the red lizard babies badly. So, so you might want to buy one, give it a try, see how you like them. So this is, your, this is just a three foot. They come two and four feet, but my racks are mostly threes. 
So I'm happy with a three foot light. So this is David. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Hello everyone. I want to give you an update of the next morning of how the new LED light is doing. Now here's my Home Depot uh, three foot LED light. It's only 4000 K so the range is not real good. And down here on a 29 is the compact fluorescent. And here is my brand new LED light. It's been running <clears throat> well I took it out of the box yesterday. As you'll see <laughs> there's almost no light coming out of it at all. And now this is not the moonlight part. Here's the light. Wow, can you imagine? I can actually show you the light. Here's the moonlight part, so you don't think I'm lost my mind. There's the moonlight. Boy, the camera is really doing a nice job. Of making it look like it's bright. Let me back up so you can see what we've got going here. I, uh, you can't see the fish. So I guess I'll be sending them an email, be getting in contact with them trying to find out what happened. All right everyone here's our new update on this. Here's our Home Depot, Lowe's, 4K three foot light, LED light. It's it's a low range, so it's not as good for the plants as you'd like. Here's a compact fluorescent here on the bottom. Then here's a new LED light from CLL Pet Supplies in Wisconsin. The original one worked really nice for for a couple of hours, and then it went to like unbelievably dim. Uh, I emailed the company and they responded quickly saying it most likely was the the uh, 110 to 12 volt power supply converter and could they send me another one and give that a try so I got that last night came in came very quickly came first-class mail so we're gonna plug this in and see how it works and boy, I really hope this takes care of it because this was a good looking light for a little while. So we'll plug it in and a quick connect here. Oh, check that out. That's brighter than the first one was. Wow, this is nice. So, now the, the first one worked for a few hours. Not this bright though. This is really good. We'll give this one a day or so before we make our final judgment. But let me bring the camera in and show you how it's doing. We've got plenty of light to be seeing the fish. It's a combination those are red lizards growing up. There's some nice quarries. 